Hi, welcome. My name's Liz and I'm one of the owners here at Fashionable Hats. Welcome to our store. Um, today, I wanted to go over some different materials used to make straw hats. I live in a very sunny state, so I wear a straw hat almost every day in the summer to protect my skin. Uh, straw hats are great for uh, many reasons. One, natural, sustainable. They absorb harmful UV rays. So it's kind of a win-win and they look cool. So let's get started. Our first hat I wanted to review and least expensive on the, the um, list is Rush Straw. This is Rush Straw, um, probably very familiar. Uh, might see these at beach shops and things like that. It has a thicker weave. Um, they're stiff, but flexible. Most commonly you'll see this in like a lifestyle or lifeguard style. This hat, great for the beach or pool. Um, this hat is called the Shore Break by Mackay. Um, and you can find that if you search Mackay in the search bar or uh, in our brands. Uh, but they're very cool and they have all these really cool patterns, which, which we're, I'm very excited about. I will be wearing that at the pool. And then next we have Palm Straw. Um, palm Straw is made from Guatemalan palm leaves. These hats are durable, waterproof, great protection. Um, this strut, this hat is ideal if you work outdoors. Maybe if you get a little sweaty, you can just wash it with soap and water. It will hold its shape. If you get stuck in a heavy rainstorm, um, it'll last for years. Um, they're just really great. And then just a little thicker and heavier, so keep that in mind. This hat is called the Explorer by Sunbody. Our third hat is seagrass. Just like the name, it actually comes from seagrass from the ocean floor. Seagrass is usually uh, loosely woven, making them breathable and they absorb moisture, making it perfect for outdoor activities. Uh, like this one's perfect, it's got a little chin strap, so it'd be great for canoeing or kayaking. Next, uh, we have raffia on our list. Raffia comes from the um, from palm leaves produced from the membrane on the underside of the leaf fronds. This hat is, raffia is usually great for traveling because you can just, you can put it in your bag and then when you take it out, it will bounce back into shape. This hat is called the Castaway by Walrus, one of my favorite brands. Next on our list is Milan straw, um, just like the city, so easy to remember that. Milan is um, not, it's named after, not the straw, it's actually named from the weave. It's braided and weaved in different directions and patterns. Um, usually it has like a, a slight gloss, making it semi-formal look. Uh, this hat is called the Rosebud by Dobbs. Comes in seven colors and many sizes, so burgundy, white, black, all the, all the colors of the rainbow. Next, we have hemp on our list. That's right, I said hemp. Everyone gets excited when I say hemp hat. Um, hemp is a tough plant with long linen fibers and porous weave, making it breathable, antimicrobials, won't hold odors or mold, um, great, it's just a great looking hat. This hat is the Inwood by Stetson. It's also available in many colors. This next hat I am very excited about. Uh, the straw and hat, both actually. It's a very unique straw called Sisal. Um, very hard to come by. You won't see it uh, a lot. Um, Sisal's super unique, but it comes from the agave plant. It's strong, durable fibers make it uh, mainly used in like tough things like ropes and stuff. Um, as you can tell, it's light, but it's just, it's light, but, and it's just super strong and durable. And this is the Summertime Stroll by Dobbs. Comes in these three beautiful colors. I just love this hat. I think it's, just, it's really gorgeous. So, Summertime Stroll by Dobbs. Last on our list, but certainly not least, is Panama. Um, everybody has, I'm sure, heard of Panama Straw. 
comes from the toquila plant in South America. It's actually hand woven in Ecuador, not in Panama. Panama straw is tightly woven and is a great repellent for sunlight and water. Uh, the finer the weave on the Panama, the longer it takes to weave it and the more expensive you'll find it to be. This hat is called the Parsons by Bailey. Comes in um, really cool color. Comes in like another orange and blue. Um, it's really pretty, I love this hat as well. Okay, I know I said I was just gonna cover straw hats, but I'm going to give you two little bonus hats here. These, I say bonus because they're not 100% straw. This is Toyo, um, comes from, it, the name originates from Japan. These hats um, are made from rice paper yarn, um, but they're super light, super just cool. You can, super trendy, um, light, affordable, super popular Toyo straw or Toyo. They call it Toyo straw. Uh, next is, the last one is Shantan known to be durable and very similar to Panama. Sometimes I have to double, double, take a double take to see that it's not Panama. Um, super popular, material looks great, affordable. This is a beautiful hat as well. This is called the Arlo. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope this helps you pick out your perfect summer hat. If you have any additional questions, uh, please email us or call us. We have the best customer service top notch. We're always glad to take any questions you might have and help you pick the perfect hat. We'd love to see you um, looking great and smiling on social media. So if you would, please tag us at Fashionable Hats and like our page. Thanks a lot for watching.